Hey everybody, Jim here with your daily dose of Japanese gaming goodness. It is the import game of the day, and today's game is Super Back to the Future 2 for the Super Famicom. This is a 1993 release that was developed by X Seiko and published by Toshiba Imi, and it's obviously based on the second Back to the Future movie, which is also my personal favorite in the series. It features the same plot as the movie with Marty going forward and backward in time, trying to correct history and get the sports almanac out of the clutches of series villain Biff Tannen and save the town of Hill Valley from a horrible dystopian future ruled over by Biff. This is a pretty straightforward action platformer, only instead of being on foot, you're zooming around on the hoverboard from the movie, and this opens the gameplay up to some unique gameplay features. For instance, you can attack enemies with a backflip maneuver that also doubles as a cool-looking trick when going off jumps and flying through the air, flipping all the way down. There are gold coins scattered throughout each stage that can be collected to be used at vending machines to increase your health, give you an extra life, or grant you a protective energy shield. Each stage is filled with a wide variety of enemies and will have you dodging obstacles and zipping around at high speed. Also, there are a ton of boss battles to contend with, most of which are against various iterations of Biff, which is a very nice touch. This is a very fun game and fairly unique as far as 16-bit platformers go. It's not perfect by any means, but it is very enjoyable, and it features some great, colorful graphics with awesome chibi character designs and an upbeat soundtrack that features various remixes of the Back to the Future theme, which I like a lot. If you haven't tried it yet and you're a 16-bit platforming fan, Super Back to the Future 2 is a great game. Check it out.